Guess who? <laughs> Alright, so this is the third installment, apparently, to living in the now. This is the third benefit of living in the now. The first one was to simply snap yourself out of any mood that you're in, whether you're in the past or in the future, which is where we usually are, aren't we? And then just engage with the present moment, which really is all we ever have anyway. Second was to actually indulge in the rare and precious human experience of touching and using our senses and hearing and smelling and seeing and tasting and using our mind and our intellect and our fine feeling level to enjoy life, the human experience. The third, and maybe final, I have no idea, benefit is when you are fully present to what is in that moment of your life, watch, observe, be still to who is the doer, who is doing the tasting, who is experiencing the smell, who is walking, who is talking. Are you the experience or are you the one experiencing? And I know many of you are very familiar with that wonderful, wonderful state of who we really are. Our big self, source, divine, the doer, the non-doer, really. So next time you are in that precious moment of now, be still and feel where you live. You have the opportunity, of course, to go outward into the experience, which is yummy, maybe, hopefully. You can do that and you can also go inward 180 degrees and simply be there. Be home with that. All right? So being in the moment can be an incredibly powerful tool to snapping into who you really are. All right, here I am at my place of work, signing off with this third installment of Living in the Now. I hope you enjoyed it, and maybe there'll be more. I have no idea. But I'm sending all my love for a wonderful day for you, and I will talk to you soon. All right, bye-bye.